What's going on today, guys? Daniel here, Mr. Cuervo Racing. Today we're looking at three cranks. Just so happen to be working on these crankshafts, and uh, all three of them are are different. So um, thought I'd do a short video on this, kind of showing the differences and what Yamaha's done throughout the years. Um, starting in 2006, the crank on the right here, this crank ran from the part number ran from uh 2006 through 2012 this crank here ran 2013 2014 and this one here is the current model 2015 and up now the only difference in these crankshafts is the rod the part number on the rods changed uh, as well as the uh the bearing they used to be able to get the uh in this range 06 through 12 they have a separate part number for the bearing itself and in the uh in the later models they no longer separate them out like that but um all three of these cranks show the same uh same failure they show the uh wrist pin galling uh, which we showed in some of the other videos uh that one there that one there, and this one's the worst. So, that being said, they haven't really fixed or changed or made anything better or worse, but what they have done is they have reduced manufacturing costs. And, and that's what I see them doing mainly in the uh, in 2013 when they, they brought the uh, assembly process uh, to here in the States. And along with that, they had to reduce uh, cost, so they've been pushing on that. At least in my opinion, that's what I think is going on. So this earlier rod, you can see it has a uh, oiling groove through that center line of that rod um, to help oil feed all the way around that wrist pin and then go out from the center. So when they switched from the 06 through 12 to the 13 rod, they got rid of that center oil groove. So there's there's no groove on it at all. But they did chamfer the oiling holes here to help uh, feed oil a little better. Basically, um, see how this one's just a straight hole. Basically chamfering that, that oil hole allows oil to uh, break surface tension a little bit easier and uh and drop in there as well as have a larger area to uh to feed from so they carried on that to the 15 and above with the chamfer hole uh still no no groove in it basically that rod is the same for for whatever reason this new rod is about 20 thousandths short of the older generation rods i think I don't know if that's on, on purpose or something in production that's uh, going on, but uh, this rod's a little bit shorter. The piston that goes with it is substantially uh, taller. It's a lot more height in it. But um, they're a little short. We can use the same pistons on this rod, and it's not really an issue. They should sit a little bit a little bit down in the hole. But So the last, the last variation, last change they did on this rod is on the 15 and above they no longer uh, mill this they no longer machine the bottom of the rod for clearance these earlier ones this was clearance to add additional room or the necessary room between the rear counterweight and the crank now a lot of guys are getting these 2015 cranks because they're much cheaper in cost uh, for whatever reason that don't really make sense to me, but um, Normally this will clear the rear counterweight. However in the 15s the counterweights are different and they do have a uh, They do have a relief on them that uh, That adds that shows for additional or adds additional clearance there even though From the ones that I've seen that this rod won't hit the rear counterweight. It does get really close. So so that's your changes in cranks throughout the years. Um, I wish they would improve the 
wrist pin uh, issue. Um, but it's to me, it looks all about uh, production costs. And uh, ultimately, that's what keeps the price down on the bike and the price down on on maintenance. So check out those cranks. If, if you're uh, replacing, what I say is get the 15 and double check the clearance between the rear counterweight. There, there is a little bit of weight difference on each of these rods. Obviously, this rod's going to be a little bit heavier. Um, in my opinion, it's not a substantial enough change to, uh, to make a huge difference there. It, it is about 20 grams, but it's pretty close to center. Um, I haven't seen vibration issues from, uh, from guys changing that. So that's what we got. We'll see you again. Thanks.